Say you get in a, a pinch for time, you can't find uh, someone to do it for you, or you're just trying to save a little money. The goal of this video is to show you how to blow out your irrigation lines. Right, the water comes into the into this uh, pipe that goes up through the attic and to the outside. And so we're going to close off the water here. And so water can't come up and water can't go out. We're going to open this, put a bucket under this to catch any uh, residual water. And then we'll hook up our uh, compressor hose into a fitting that's going to go right here. And that will allow us to push air into here, up and over, and begin to blow out the whole system. So this is the basic process. You're going to turn off the water to the irrigation lines inside the house. Uh, we do that because the water starts from, an, from a, a conditioned airspace and then goes to the outside. So we're going to turn it off in the conditioned airspace and then all the, the lines that then lead to the outside to the irrigation system, all those lines are just going to have air in them when, we're all, when it's all said and done. We'll use a 20 gallon air compressor uh, to inject air into your, your irrigation lines and be able to clean all of those out in time for winter. All right, so it's just a matter of turning on each zone. So we've already done the first one. So now we'll select, put on run stations manually, and then we'll do the second zone which select it that way then add two minutes hit enter and now the compressor will pump out the air on zone two One thing I do to, since there's not a lot of water there, I'll pull the, the head up just to make sure that we can get as much water out as possible on the first go round. And then after this is done, we make one round through every zone, and then we'll go back and do it again. This is one of the drawbacks to not having a, a tow behind compressor is that you have to do one zone at a time because the home compressor just doesn't have the volume that a tow behind compressor does. Okay, so that's mostly air. And there's just a little bit of water, so we'll let that go. So here I can, I can hold the bottom of the sprinkler head keep it from retracting back into the back into the body of the sprinkler and it starts sputtering like that when there's more air than water coming out which lets you know you're getting to the end and the ones down there in the line are already just shooting or uh, a mist Much like this one's starting to do. And so that's how you know you got most of the water out, is it just becomes a mist. Okay, here I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this sprinkler head up using the tool that you get from Rainbird. holding the base of the sprinkler head and then we're gonna de take that cap off and then that'll relieve all pressure and any any remaining water that has flowed down into the that's lowest part here will pop right out that's an inline filter that determines the opening of the spray that's sprayed out and so we'll go ahead and turn it on in that zone just for one minute and clear out any last remaining water
last thing to do is open the quarter turn right like that for your back flow preventer. So that line right there is in line with this. So that means it's open and it'll stay open that one in line this way. It'll stay open through the winter and let any water that's possibly anywhere in there not to be locked up in this because that's brass and that will split if water's in there and it can't get out if you live in a area where it freezes. Lastly, we close this valve right here and that stops any water uh, going up there in the winter time. But this valve will close this off to stop water from coming up here. We're gonna take the this hose off, take that uh, fit, fitting off and put the plug back in there and uh, put thread tape around it to make it all good and tight. And that's the end of it and you're done. Hope this video helps. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. We got more videos coming. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time.